Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw a ggplot2 plot with two y-axes using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears which is called data and we can have a look at the first six lines of this data frame by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the R Studio console that our data frame contains two columns x and y with numeric values. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot with two y-axes, then we need to use the scale y continuous function and the sec axis argument. And within the sec axis argument, we need to specify a multiplier for the difference of the two y axes. And then we need to specify a name of the second y axis. So in this case, I want to show kilometers on the left side on the left y axis and meters on the right side on the right y axis. So for that reason, I'm multiplying our original data by 1000. So if you run lines 11 to 16 of the code, you can see that a new ggplot is created at the bottom right in the RStudio console. And as you can see on the left side of our plot, we have a y-axis that is showing kilometers. And on the right side, we have a y-axis that is showing meters. And it is showing the values of the left y-axis times 1000. So in this video, I have explained how to create a ggplot2 plot with two y-axes using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video and I will also put all the R programming code that I have used in this video into the description. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.